everybody, I'm going to present you today how to make a permanent magnet motor generator. So let's get, have it on land. Alright folks, look what this one can do. Lights, radio, LED, and on top of all, charging a battery. So stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm going to make how, I'm going to show you how to make this and use it in an emergency case magnet motor generator with a DC motor that is cheap, easy to find and everybody can do it. Alright, stay tuned. This is it folks. Free energy. We have it. Huh? Folks, we are back. You saw the demonstration early and I'm gonna present you now what are the main parts. So the main generator is this DC motor. I think there is a 150 watts. I'm not sure because there is nothing labeled on it. It could be a 24 volts, 150 watts. But again, I'm not sure because there is nothing labeled on it. No numbers, no stuff. This one, this motor I recovered from an electric bike, you know, for kids. The one with two wheels that recharges on uh, on the mains. Um, this motor is very useful. It's very easy to find. Also, you can find it on eBay. It's like uh, 25 or 30 dollars, but it's got so much power in it. Like in this configuration, we can make up to 40 watts, plus or minus. You know, uh, if you're gonna pull all the his power, it's gonna be become harder to spin. So. We do have the motor, which is a belt motor. Be aware if you're gonna buy one. There are some others with the chain. So they got here a pulley, you know, and so that one is not gonna be good for this configuration. And on top of all, we have used this washing machine uh, rotor. Basically, this is the part where you plug in your clothes, you know, for the washing and uh, all this stuff. We have used the belt as well. And we have improvised here a handle in order to crank it. There you go. So it's not steady. Don't start with comments and it's not gonna be doing, I don't know, shit like you always doing it. This is a temporary uh, solution. It's a proof of concept. Is The main part is to show this one has pretty much power in it. So the rest is just like for you know, for convenience purposes and for temporary. It will be best if you're gonna use this configuration on a bike, you know, you're gonna pedal it and you're gonna make more energy than I'm making here with this hand crank. All right, so I've shown you the motor. Uh, we do have here an uh, LED voltage meter display. I'm gonna crank it a little bit to see, you see? So I'm doing it with my hand, yeah? Very easy, look, very easy. It's making like 9 or 10 volts. After this voltmeter, we do have a solar battery controller that using solar panel, you can see here the solar panel, but we have connected here these two wires going straight to the motor. So the exit of the motor, the output, is going into the solar panel input. Battery, of course, we do have a battery, 12 volts one. We do have here a 12 volts LED, very nice one. We do have here a light strip LED, and we do have here a bulky radio, which you can see here. I don't have no batteries in it, no plug into the mains. Where is the main plugging? Ah, look here, is the main plug, which is not unplugged, just we have connected some wires to the output of the solar panel. All right, so I'm going to show you some measurements. I'm going to show you how much voltage and amps this one can provide. And after that, we're going to plug in some various devices and uh, we're going to see how much they can last and if we can charge this battery. Once again, before you're going to start to comment that this is fake, this is unuseful, this is... I don't care if you're gonna believe me or not. I'm telling you the truth. Look, all the setup, 
you can check my other videos it's all truth here no fake ones no shit no whatever you want to call it all right so once again motor belt washing machine spinner yeah for convenience purposes only led there you go what happened the other way around here we go all right so i give you all the parts necessary let's set up this camera and we're gonna put it to test all right folks we are back with the permanent magnet motor and the homemade configuration we did manage to hook up the multi multimeter look here are the leads it's currently Reading zero, as you can see now. I'm gonna spin it a little bit. Here you go. Let's go faster. Let's go. So we can go up to 19 volts. Here you go. Ah, fucking hell. Come on, boy. Go to. Here we go, 19, 20 plus volts, yeah? This is voltage with no load connection, we don't know nothing. Now we're gonna switch to the amp. Let's switch to the amp. And we're gonna see how many amps we're gonna provide this uh, motor in short circuit. Yeah, let's go slow. Proper aligned. There we go. We can go up to nearly two amps. So is it, this is in short circuit. 1.6, 1.8, nearly two amps, folks. So if you're gonna do the math, 19 volts times, let's say, two, that's it. Nearly 40 watts of power. Yeah? So I'll show you the measurements. I'll show you the setup. Now we're gonna put it to test. We're gonna put various loads on it and we're gonna see the actual power. Yeah, we're gonna be back just in a sec. One quick thing I forgot to measure this uh, battery to show you that this one is a discharge battery. Yeah, so you're not gonna say that the, uh, the power comes from this battery and is powering the radio, the LEDs, and all the stuff. Yeah, we're gonna have it here. So you have the multimeter. I'm gonna connect it as best as we can. Look, 11.37. If you can Google it, you're gonna find that this one is a pretty low battery discharge one. Yeah. So there you have it. The battery is discharged. As you can see on the uh, solar controller, if the first LED is on, that means it's low, medium, half of the battery, and full. Not full. The we are back, folks. We set up the configuration that the motor is connected to the voltmeter, the solar controller, the battery, and the LED. So we're gonna crank it now for a couple of seconds, and you're gonna see. You can see here. Look, one LED. That means the battery is low. We're gonna crank it a little bit, and we're gonna see that the LED stays on after we're gonna finish on crank it. Right. You can see, yeah, it's going full, it's charging, there are 40 volts going into the battery and we're gonna stop soon. We have stopped now, look, the crank is not moving, so the LED are going on. They're not gonna go forever, believe me, it's just a small amount of electricity stored store in the battery. But if you're gonna crank it a little bit more, onto a bicycle maybe yeah you're gonna have your free energy generator it's not actually free 100 percent free because you have to spend energy to make energy so nothing is free folks don't get fooled about it but at least this is cheap easy to make here you go the proof everything you needed there are commercial version of this one with magnets and wires so i didn't manage to make it now with the neodymium magnets and coil and all that stuff but who knows in the future maybe 
Let's crank it a little bit more. You can see the light goes on. This is just a small LED, you know, nothing fancy, nothing fancy there. But it does the job. In an emergency situation, you've got your permanent magnet motor generator. You can listen to radio to see the weather, to hear the weather, sorry, and uh, what's going on. Maybe it's an avalanche, maybe it's a storm, maybe it's whatever. You can change your phone if there is a reception, have lights, radio, and so on. All right. Now we're gonna connect a more powerful uh, bulb from uh, auto. It's a car bulb, like 25 watts, I think, 12 volts. And we're gonna see. But I didn't connect the the multimeter to see. I don't know if you're gonna see it, but I have to crank it faster for this one because it's pulling like uh, one and a half amps, something like that. Yeah, so it's gonna be tricky there. All right, let's stop this one and mount the LED one that I showed you previously. And I do have some other videos with uh, that LED that can go low as nine volts. Okay, we have mounted the LED here and I'm gonna crank it. You're gonna see the light of the end of the tunnel. Here you go, folks. It's bright as a mother. Bright and easy. Yeah, so there you have it. Bright LED, not so bright LED, power consumption. We're gonna hook up now the radio with the bulky one and we're gonna put it on full blast okay folks you can see the radio is right here let's try it here you go my friends you got your radio so the battery keeps on keeps on yeah a little bit keeps on folks keeps on ah just a little bit like i told you you know it's not gonna stay forever so but if you're gonna crank it more on your bicycle maybe you're gonna have one hour two hour who knows so all the stuff that i show you in the beginning of the video they can go all of them or separately or just the battery you can plug in your phone charger, iPad, whatever you, whatever goes on 12 volts or with some step down stuff, <coughs> you can do it. That does not consume that much power. So there you have it, folks. Thanks all for watching. There you have it. Permanent magnet motor from a DC motor. How to make it? Till the next time. Share. Thumbs up, subscribe, and we're gonna see you with new interesting products and videos. Thanks all for watching.